Jane starts by reminding herself that this is an episode of anxiety. It is not harmful, and she has experienced it many times before. She is not going to get upset by the sensations she is feeling, and is going to respond to the situation with a new understanding. This is nothing more than heightened bodily sensations, she tells herself. I am not in any danger whatsoever. She begins by simply observing the sensations. Her heart is beating fast and her chest is tightening. Her initial reaction is to pull away and suppress the sensations of anxiety. But now she decides that rather than closing down, she's going to let the sensations run through her body and process this fear. She is well aware that this will take courage and maybe an uncomfortable exercise, but she knows she must travel through the anxiety to be fully free of it. She starts by observing the ebb and flow of the anxiety as it rises and falls in her body. Then she starts to embrace it with all her heart and mind by welcoming the increased anxiety and the unusual sensations. This act of welcoming changes her position of power. As soon as she changes her attitude towards the sensations, she automatically starts to flow with the experience. There is an immediate bodily change as she mentally moves with the panic instead of suppressing it. She is allowing the sensation she feels freedom to be there and to move and manifest any which way they wish. This new attitude is absolutely vital because the fear must be processed through the body and mind, not suppressed. As Jane embraces and welcomes the sensations, her heart beats even louder and she can feel a pounding in her throat and her chest and stomach. It is beating with full force, it is as if a floodgate has been opened and the river is gushing out. Feelings of pent-up emotion and anxiety are now being processed and she may even feel a sense of heat or a hot flush. This is not a calm or tranquil moment for her. It is one of intense feeling. It is at this juncture of heightened bodily sensations Jane implements the final phase. She makes a direct request to her body and mind for more. She demands more of the panic, more of the sensations, more of the thing that frightens her most. This is the crucial move that is needed to ensure success and fully process the fear she is feeling. By demanding more with all her heart and mind, she removes any last bit of resistance she was creating mentally. The fear is allowed to fully pass through her. The cycle of panic stops because she is no longer feeding the fear with mental resistance. Instead, she is demanding that if something really is going to go wrong, then let it happen right now and stop all the drama of building up to it. The fearful experience is now fully processed through her body and mind without resisting. By not resisting anymore, there is no further rebound anxiety and no cycle of panic. The immediate benefit is that Jane's confidence begins to soar. She is now coming to understand that she can in fact control this experience that up until now she felt was uncontrollable. She is participating in the flow of the bodily sensations and she finally understands the role she can play by allowing the experience to flow through her rather than resisting it. She always had this power to dictate how a panic attack would develop. It is only now that she has the specific psychological tools to do so. As the anxiety decreases, she is naturally feeling quite jittery and on edge. But she is also feeling jubilant because she knows that if the rush of anxiety were to return at any time, she can trust her body to move through it once more. She can do this as many times as necessary until she reaches a point where the anxious bodily sensations become totally inconsequential. She may get them again, but her new trust will no longer turn the sensations into a panic attack.